M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the 705 and the 710 here. We've set it to the screen that is the same as the 705. Now I will say that if, if I had the 7300, I would say that the 7300 and the 710 are basically after the same, you know, buyers because they are HF 6 meter radios with a built-in tuner, 100 watt, and they have 70 megahertz. The one key thing that's different about the 710 is the external display. You can use the RSBA1 software with the ICOM radio, but it's not the same as plugging in an external display. So I would say that's the key difference here. Otherwise, they're very similar radios in, in what you're trying to achieve. So if we just turn up the 710. You can see that we can tap the screen. To change frequency, and we'll turn up the 705. Not very much, except, uh... now, they're not on the same antenna, but they're on similar antennas. They're both on, what, on long wires, but one's a 49 to 1 ballon and one's 9 to 1, so it's not going to be exactly the same. Now, what you'll notice on the ICOM is that you get these you can change the colors within the waterfall and and they are you know they are um, linked to signal strength with the 710 when you select this kind of color they they it's either it's green and blue basically and if we click the function button and go to colors you can choose all these different colors say for example we choose orange it will start going like a blood orange so, and it, to me, it adds, I would say it adds two colours. So colour, back to the green. And that's the one that's been most popular. And you can expand, watch, on both radios. You can expand the display. It does go wider on the 710. Now, interactivity-wise, I, I feel like the... For my, I'm an icon. I've been using icon for years, and I feel like the icon is actually the interactivity of the radio is actually better on the icon. The thing that you've got with the 710 is that you can use a mouse. So I've got my mouse connected here, just a normal wired mouse, and I can click different frequencies. So let's just turn this up. <laughs> we'll click a strong one. There you are, and then on the 705, you tap the screen, and you're there. You've got center fix as well, and on the, let's turn that down, 710, you've got fix here center and then cursor you can see it changing on the 705 center fix there you go so that's similar now regarding the filters on the 710 tap here and you've got the filter shift width notch contour and you can change it using the dsp control on the 705 and let's let's just say this is almost the same as the 7300 Push the twin PBD, and you can change filters there. You can hold it down on the screen, and then you get these selection of filters here. So that's how it's done with the 7300-705. Let's exit that. VFO knob-wise, I think yeah, you know, I think they're both pretty good. The Icon ones. No, I would say that the VFO interaction is is very similar. And what ICOM have done with the volume on, on the 705 is that, is that they've made it AF, RF and squelch. And when you push the button, you get different functions. So there's the volume. Et 
Okay, that's the 705 down. You tap the screen to get bigger increments. Let's find a stronger one. I said, you don't put that 50 quid in your pocket, you take her out for a nice meal. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well done anyway, mate. Anyway, listen, I'm going to leave you two to it. I've got to go and... Okay, so memory-wise, with the 705, you just tap VFO, tap memory there and go VFO mode. On the 710, you've got VFO memory button here. Front buttons, you've got power, vox, DR mode, volume, then you've got menu buttons here. The 710, you push function, that's your main sort of selection of menus. You select the one you like, and then it comes up here, and you can adjust it with the function. Or you press it, and you've got these radio settings here in blue, and they go into submenus, and you can select it with your, with your mouse or tap the screen. So that all seems to work fine. We back out on the 705, go menu, and then you've got these grids, which is very nice, actually very appealing. One, two, and then you've got presets. They both got presets. On on the 710, you hit mode, which is on the top. And then there's your preset there. You turn it on, hold your finger on it, and you get your presets. There's five presets here. I've got a feeling the 705 will allow more than five. Actually, there's five there. Let's see if we can if it will add number six. No, so it looks like there's five presets on the on the uh, 705. If there are more, let me know. So what I'm say saying is that even though it's Yesu, the whole model of this radio, and, and I know the architecture, the hardware is is there is their hardware, but really it's a, it's the 7300 in a Yesu box. Uh, anyway, so the meters. Let's just go down the meters here. Let's tap the meters so as you tap the meters you can change them it's, it's quite hard for you to see but it's, as i'm tapping them they're changing comp ip po swr same goes for here you can tap that and select different meters so that's good you can tap the lsb there's your mode and then you can do that on here as well there's your mode the one thing i th i think you can't do let me tap the f you don't get the grid on see on the icon you get the grid of frequencies and you've got fm radio airband etc on this one when you tap this i don't see a grid come out i see if you tap the noughts you can type in the frequency but there would have been nice to have a selection here where you could get the grid up unless there is a way just an extra button then you get you know the same thing as you get here a grid and then you've got frequency input up there as well. So that would have been nice. On the 7300, yeah, there's a button there you to tune. And on the 710, there's your tune button there. And it works fine. I've tested it. It works as good as the 7300, I would say. On the 710, you do have this 3D scope. So tap that. And then you go to 3D. And then it's best to change color. So we'll go color. Like so. And then the DB, if you press the function here, DB level. And I set that to about 20, which shows on the screen, minus 20. And then you start to get that nice waterfall. And then you've got this multi-screen, which is very similar to, if you go uh, function, menu number one. And we're looking for, all right, do it again, menu, audio scope. And there you are, you've got your audio scope there. Now, no one can say that that isn't <laughs> the same as... 7300 and 705, you know. Uh, I don't know how that all works, but to me, it's a similar thing. Um, so, what else we got here? Just look at the function menu on the 705. 
I mean, it's because it's because VHF, UHF, and DR mode, you have more things, but you've got your preamp there, AGC, notch, noise blanker, NR. On the 7300, these buttons, I think most of them do appear on the front because it's a smaller radio on the 705. You've got split mode here as well, and the 710 does do split watch. There's split, and you get these nice nifty big LEDs as well, which is very nice, you know. We do like our LEDs. So the audio is going to be better on the 710 because it's got the AES system, which is like having two speakers, and then you have a balance, which is controlled by the AESS and the AESSCF, and you can there's further settings within the radio, and that does sound good. Again, I prefer the without the multi, then I go function, color, green, and then function again, level, and I put that on five, minus five. And then expand, and you've got, you know, it's a nice screen. Easy to tune, you can tune in bigger increments with the DSP button. So that's 713 on the, let's turn that off. You can change the increments as well in the menu. 713, let's get that. So tap the screen, seven megs, and we'll go to 13. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, you know, these things are all interconnected and you, uh, you know, they, 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 like, they love each other, Jack, you know? <laughs> well, I think the, I don't know whether it was a TA-33 or something earlier, but that, that's what it was. Oh, yeah, okay, good, okay. So that's the 705. Well, I'll back away from the microphone. The DNR. Sorry, take it. Yeah, I will back away from the microphone. Very good. So you've got the DNR button here. If you hold it down, then you, you can change the increments with the function knob. I think it works fine. Noise blanker on top. There, and again, hold the button. Change the functions, and then you've got your clarifier, which is pretty good. It goes red, and you've got clarifier. Each time you press it, RX, TX. On that. So the 705 basically has this set, set of menus. Then you have your function menus, as you can see. You have the scope sort of button. You can actually have all meters here. I think you hold your finger on it, don't you? Yeah, and you get all the meters showing. That's something you can't do on the 710 is show all of the meters. You've got your power showing there. Also, you have a clock. Where's, even though you can set the time on the 710, where do you put, where's the clock? I've got this quick menu here as well of course the 705 has gps you don't get that on the 7300 but you've got gps but and dr mode if i hold down dr we're in dr mode which is which is good but i'm more thinking about the 7300 now if you want your scope again you just push scope and there's your scope again I mean, I find it easier to find stations on my 705, to be honest, but they're both good. It's, it's probably because I'm used to this icon because I've had icon for 10 years. So I think that's about it. I just thought I'd show you these radios. They're both good. I mean, picking out which is better at picking out signals, it's hard to say. There's a weak one there, look, on 7088. Seven oh nine one on the seven oh five. Let's do that nine one. Turn up the seven the seven one oh. The 
way you can adjust the It's pretty good, isn't it? Hold down the reset button, it all puts it back where you started. You know, the question is, if I was going to buy a radio today, would I buy the 7300 or the 710? Well, if I was getting a second-hand 7300, I would buy that now, because I think you can get them for around £700, and for what you get, they're absolutely brilliant. But... Presuming you have to buy a new 710 at the moment, because they've only just been released. If I was buying brand new, I'd go for the 710, ma mainly because of the external display. That's the number one thing that will swing it for me. Uh, the 705 is a different breed anyway. It's, you know, I got that because I'm very highly into digital, and I'm portable, I'm QRP. I like playing around with Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. Um, SD card in there and uh, you know I just like to sit in front of a radio and tinker all day long it's a tiny little thing um, if you look at the size difference here there you go I've got a special carry cage as well that I got actually got from America I think it's called POV carry cage so that's it just uh, thought it'd be interesting to see them you've got the two antennas going simultaneously there and uh, really they're they're both excellent we're, we're so spoilt for choice and then really what they're what you're being charged is very good value 1100 pound with a speaker for a radio of, of this standard you know if you think about what radios were costing 10 years ago 20 years ago i think you do you're doing very well for money, for what you get 73 thanks for watching my channel please hit the like and subscribe button bye for now